Hi and welcome to the new video. In this video, I'll be discussing about the status registers associated with the CPU of TMS320 C24X digital signal processors. C24X has two status registers named ST0 and ST1, which contains the status and control bits. So, status bits and control bits are ST0, ST1 are under status registers. And these registers can be stored to and loaded from data memory. We can store and load data memory. And, data memory. Load it and, uh, it. and this allows status of the machine to be saved and restored for subroutines. So, if you status, you can save and restore and it. You can subroutines. You can use it. Uh, we will discuss the videos in the detail. We will detail the brief Mainly, we will discuss the LST. LST is load status register instruction. Writes ST0 and ST1 and SST. Store status register instruction. Reads from ST0 and ST1. We run the command instructions on the load and LST on a load status register and SST store status register. So instructions uh, uh write and like load and read and to be with the exception of INTM bit, which is not affected by the LST instruction. Elta INTM bit in the load which is not affected by the LST instruction. We can write the load which write the LST instruction. And many of the individual bits of these registers can be set and cleared using set C and clear C instruction. So set C instruction and clear C instruction of which the value of 1 and 0 and additional letter possible. For example, the sign extension mode is set with set C SXM. SXM is sign extension mode with that is set and when it is set C SXM node. That is clear and clear C S X M in the Madi. Okay. So we have status registers arrangement. So status register ST0 ST0 So the sixteen bit lower lower eight bit DP. data pointer DP on lower uh, 9 bits 0 to 8 norm 9 bit pinna or INTM INTM pinna 1 1 the, the reserve with which it will have one night on order Kadika other for another right has no effect on it Namaka you change on the bit pinna OVM overflow mode bit on OV overflow then ARP auxiliary register pointer with the can status zero register le vernadu okay idile pm pin idile kore annam nammal endha one aayittu vechittirikkana idokke endha nu parayam xf c sxm tc cnf arb arp um arb um similar aayittulla karyangal aanu adu endha nu lokku namukku parayam pin ithreem registers aanu idile vernadu idile r nu parneyna read access aanu w nu parneyna write access undu Hyphen dash it is in the Udeshna and then change value after reset and order can kind of the next to kind of the X no more nina not affected by reset reset to worry but they change effect on them then we need to be in the X and I can do the okay there are not really may not do another problem the low overflow with my trauma I put zero trick in the pin I and the amount of one other can I know the cheese in a clear the kind in your run for the values just over on the brief to discuss the poor Valadum Pala Vivara lectures, detail at Chalpa Parnitan Darikim. You will just end a brief fight like Iring Lake or in the ARB and ARP Auxiliary Register Nat related to the Gadana. So ARB is the Auxiliary Register Pointer Buffer. So buffer on the ARP Auxiliary Register Pointer Buffer. Whenever the auxiliary register point that is ARP is loaded, the previous ARP value is copied to the ARB except using LST that is load status register instruction. So, we ARB and ARP. ARP is the auxiliary register pointer. So, auxiliary register pointer is loaded. That is why the ARP value is the buffer. Auxiliary register pointer buffer. ARB like load uh, uh, poem in the lana with this another okay 
So, this is LSD instruction is the LI instruction. So, when ARB is loaded by the LSD instruction, the same value is also copied to ARB. So, we can direct ARB in LSD which is load status register which is load E. So, we can load E the value of ARP. Okay. Then ARP, auxiliary register pointer. So, we can say, Hmm. ARA will be auxiliary register at the metric unit. This auxiliary register is the auxiliary register. This auxiliary register point is 3 bit. This is the combination. So, this 3 bit field selects which auxiliary register AR to use in indirect addressing. Indirect addressing is the auxiliary register. And when the ARP is loaded, the previous ARP value is copied to the ARP register. So, we will use it except during LSD instruction. And the ARP may be modified by memory reference instruction using indirect addressing and by MAR, modify auxiliary register and LSD instruction. P instructions of China modify GM and when ARP is loaded with LSD instruction, that's the same with the same then c c in varney nam kariyam carry bit aanu p parn carry bit aanu c in varney nya this bit is set to 1 if the munne parnittullana carry bit inde kaaryam endha endha irunnu carry bit set set to 1 now if carry undengil additionally carry undengil allengil subtraction il borrow illengil adana il varunathu adhe pole thane zero avum eppa carry illengil allengil subtraction il borrow undengil adana il varunathu appo idile add can only uh, add can only set and sub only clear the carry bit but cannot affect it otherwise the single bit shift and rotate instruction also affect this bit so, single bit shift to uh, rotate to okay, the use line so uh, as set c clrc lst instruction other uh, within effective okay conditional branch call and return instructions can execute based on the value of c C is set to 1 on reset. Reset at Jenya 1 now. So, this is effective. Then CNF. CNF is on chip DRAM configuration. Bit. Configuration is CNF. It is a configuration of DRAM. On, uh, on chip DRAM configuration bit. So, this bit is a configuration dual access. Uh, data space I don't know, program space I don't know, then I configure it in the can can be detailed so CNF in the value 0 and angle reconfigurable dual access RAM blocks are mapped only to data space data space math right on CNF equal to 1 and angle uh, and the map to program space and then they see another CNF on chip DRAM configuration bit then DP data page pointer data page pointer so when an instruction uses direct addressing, direct addressing using both the 9-bit data pointer field is concatenated with the 7 LSBs of the instruction word to form a full 16-bit memory address. So uh, the 9 bits are the data pointer, that the LSB of the instruction word concatenate the 16-bit memory address in the data page, the page is the data page pointer. Then INTM, interrupt mode bit, interrupt mode bit. This bit enables or disables all maskable interrupts. So, maskable interrupt in enable and disable and in INTM is set and cleared by the set C INTM and clear C INTM instruction. The instructions which it is set in the clear in the one of them, zero of them. And INTM has no effect on the non maskable interrupt. Either maskable in the case of the non maskable, reset to uh, non maskable interrupt to in the effective ambitia or interrupt initiated by the software. And IMTM is affected by the LST load, unaffected by the LST load status register instruction. And INTM is set to 1 when an interrupt trap is taken place and uh, at reset. So, INTM 0 means that all unmasked interrupts are enabled. All unmasked interrupts are enabled. INTM equal to 1. Sorry, 1 is enabled. All maskable interrupts are disabled. Okay. New overflow flag bit. We will discuss this overflow flag bit. Holds a latched value that indicates whether overflow has occurred in the CALU. So, CALU is overflow. Overflow is set to 1 when an overflow occurs in the CALU. And once the overflow occurs, OV bit 
remains set until it is cleared by a reset. So, reset is clear and there is overflow. So, this is a flag bit on overflow. Conditional branch on overflow or no overflow. That is NOV is no overflow or LST instruction. Where is it? Then overflow mode bit. This is discussed in the overflow mode bit. It means how over, uh, determines how overflows in CLU are handled. Engi ne ani overflow ne handle endu na. So set C and CLRC instruction set and clear this bit. Apa thoda chamke na clear yeh bitum. An LST instruction can also be used to modify on load idu tum namka dena modify cheyam bitum. Yeh overflow mode bit is zero anangil in the results overflow normally in the accumulator. An overflow equal mode bit equal to one na varna. The accumulator is set to either its most positive or most negative value upon the end. Uh, upon the, the most positive like and most negative like and uh, one of the PM on product shift mode. PM on product shift mode on determines the amount that the PREG value is shifted on its way to the CALU or to the atom. Rhythm career uh, PREG in the Porteke at the Pombo shifter Vadiana Pona. The upper shifter lay at the Tholam shift here and product shift mode the demonic end. Okay, note that uh, the content of the PREG remains unchanged. That the PREG is the content of the PREG. That the shifter is the value of the copy to the product shifter and shifted there. And PM is loaded by the SPM and LST instruction. The PM is bits are cleared by reset. Reset is very clear. Now, the two bits are the combination of the PM 0001101 00 multiplies 32 bit product is passed to the CLU or to the data memory with no shift. Now, we have two bits of result. We have the PR region and product register. We have to go to the shifter and we have to go to the CLU and data memory. So, we have to shift to the PR region. 01 and the output of PREG is left shifted on one place. One place in a left shift team before being passed to CLU data memory. 101 now output of PREG is left shifted four bits before being passed to CLU. That will 11 or produces a right shift of six bits sign extended. This is the first Yes, SXM sign extension mode bit. The sign extension mode bit is 0 and one suppresses sign extension and 1 and one data values that have that are shifted in the input shifter are sign extended before they are passed to the CLU. So then on sign extension mode bit to begin the TC test or control flag bit on TC bit is set to 1 if a bit a bit tested by bit or BIT bit t in is a 1 that is test the bit in the value 1 and your flag 1 night in the kuma if a compare condition tested by cmpr exists between the current auxiliary register and ar0 or in uh, or if the exclusive or function of the two msbs of the accumulator is true and the tested by a norm instruction so he is going to look at the value 1 night in the kuma okay and the conditional branch call and return instructions can execute based on the condition of the TC bit. So, the execute in the ATC bit in the value and search and TC bit is an, uh, affected by bit, bit, T, CMPR, LST, and norm instruction. These instructions are okay, in, uh, affected by bit. And XF, XF pin status bit. So, this pin determines the state of the XF pin. XF pin in the state in a determines in the which is a general purpose output pin. The output pin is a general purpose output pin. And the status is determined by the X flag XF. XF is set by set C XF instruction and cleared by CLRC XF instruction. And XF can also be modified with the LST instruction. And XF is set to 1 by reset. That is the difference. 1 is reset. Okay. With the status registers ST0 and ST1.